This is the Pioneer PD-F605. This is a 25 disc uh, CD changer. I bought this uh, last year uh, at a Goodwill. I've seen some that can hold up to 100 discs, some even 200 discs. Uh, this one holds 25, uh, but even so, it's still really bulky. But you can only imagine uh, this is about seven and a quarter. Yeah, about, well, maybe seven and three eighths tall, measuring at about. 16 and 3 eighths depth we got about we have about uh 11 and a half inches so it's a pretty bulky console this is the display it's got several different modes i'm not sure what highlight means uh, i've seen this mode actually in different uh and different pioneer players so i'm not sure if this is kind of like a a quick run through of the, what the music is and then it skips over to another track i'm not sure this is the timer this is to set it on random this is to repeat uh not sure what this what these two controllers do this changes the the disc and then here's your standard uh uh, controls to, to switch between tracks and this is this would be to program it taking a look inside it basically has uh, like a big cartridge that holds all your discs and they're numbered to help you remember where your discs are and the way I've seen it work is when once you close this uh, something here I don't know if it's like a little conveyor belt will snatch the disc out up and play it. And then uh, you close it when you're ready to play. Taking a look at the back. is made in Malaysia and this is from 19 looks like 96 this also has a digital out optical so it's you remove this little plug here and you can plug it into your optical you also got your line out uh, AV analogs. And then you could also uh, pair this with a Pioneer amplifier. And that way you are, you are able to control it with just one controller. I do have a controller for it. It's not the one that uh, came with the CD player, but it works just fine. It'll turn it on. It'll skip tracks uh, and it'll also skip some of the uh, the discs from one place from one disc to another so. it also has got the uh the sticker price here still from don't know if it's from 96 or not but uh you can see that this originally cost about 200 dollars actually this could have been sold used and it says here we got 2002 december 3rd 2002 so this could have been resold at some point, maybe at a pawn shop, maybe at a clearance store, I'm not sure. I kind of find that interesting. They value it at about $299.99, but they're set, but they sold it at they were selling it at $199.99. Hmm, interesting. This is similarly built like the CD the 6 this changer that Pioneer made. So we're gonna go ahead and demo this. Uh, we'll show you how I load discs 
and then we'll hear some tunes. So I would go ahead and load the discs. Um, these discs go uh, with the label facing down, which is for some reason how a lot of the uh, Pioneer uh, disc changers work back in those days. Even when you have that six disc uh, CD changer, you have to put the cartridge and you have to always put the label facing down. So the label faces down um, in a way um, and so you just put them in, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my flashlight so you can get, kind of see how everything runs. So what I'll do is I'll turn on my flashlight, and then you can kind of see the discs are already in there. So I'll just go ahead and push play, and you can kind of see the whole operation. So right there, the first disc was taken I'm gonna go ahead and skip over to disc 10 so you guys can kind of see see how it pulls out there's also a little light inside that indicates that the disc is being played and when you're done you can just push stop and the light goes red and it'll return the disc and then you could retrieve your disc just like that. So this is basically the Pioneer file type compact disc player PD-F605. It's a beaut, but it's very bulky and very big. I think if you had a nice bookshelf, you, this might be able to fit. But if you already have an amplifier or a receiver for your home theater, I don't see how this would fit anywhere else. But uh, maybe, who knows, someday I'll have some space for it. We'll see. All right.